trucks, I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by a lady who's got a huge amount of experience actually riding round uh, here at Blenheim, Sasha Hargreaves. It is lovely to have you with us. Hi, it's lovely to be here. Thank you for having me. It is our pleasure. Paolo Torloni of Bambino de Lelat through the roller coaster as he comes up to the top of the hill. What do you see at this moment? Because you come over the brow of the hill, there's a hell of a lot to look at. Yeah, I think it's the first moment you really realise exactly where you are. You come down through those woods to that combination and you see all the crowds, the lake, all the cars. Um, and yeah, I think it's quite a big moment, but it's also it's a pretty cool moment. You've um, got to enjoy it as well. Yeah, absolutely. Paolo Torlonia and Bambino de Lilla, big pants for the horse as they come away from the lake crossing. And uh, it's a steep enough pull up that hill there. We've seen a number of horses actually getting to the top and particularly the far end of the course. And almost you can see them taking a breath and going, oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. And it's an, quite an intense section of the course as well. I think as soon as, again, you come out of those woods, you have those white rails, the water, this water, there's a lot that suddenly goes on. Um, and it's definitely an additional challenge. He did a really good, good job, job there of encouraging that horse in and helping him find a nice line to that corner, which is really nice to see. And he's rewarded with with a nice pat there. Oh, doing a really good job through the water at 15. As back to Will Rawling, Bally Coop Breaker Boy Will, who actually went out to our field as part of the Nations Cup team for Team GB a few weeks ago. I think this combination is a really interesting one this year because it's quite similar to the type of thing you'd set up in the school at home. It's a bit of a serpentine. Um, I'm really good to I'm test the education of the horse and see how they're getting on. So well, Gavin well. time to have a little bit of a wave to his fans <laughs> on the way round there. And again, that moment you're in front of the palace and he's got a slightly quiet park coming up and maybe he's just going, wow, this is quite cool. It's one of those moments, isn't it? You know, Blenheim is a really iconic venue, a real bucket list venue for so many people. And actually you've got to enjoy it as well because it, it's a big moment and Absolutely. it can pass very quickly. And it takes a lot to get a horse to a competition like this. So as you say, you've got to remember to enjoy it whilst you're here. So Paolo Tolonia actually electing to go long up at the top. Now that's an interesting decision because actually he, we've seen plenty of people have a slightly sticky jump at the water and then run into problems here. And I think this could well be a wise decision. Yeah, and I think from how he approached it, I think possibly, as you said, the horse is just slightly taking a moment to take it all in and possibly dropped off, dropped off the aid slightly. Um, so it's quite a good decision to give him a really nice round there um, and put a bit of confidence back in the tank, ready for the last bit of the course. Well, a time in for Labusa Lubica, Kalamia 34, 20.4 time penalties. I'm surprised by so many time penalties because it was a quick round, actually. 51.9 is the score. They'll take forward Sophie Fouracre and Billy Alberto also home safely 8.4 time. So they go forward to tomorrow's show jump on 52.4. That's a lovely expression on the his face there coming through that lake because it is pricked all the way and made it look really easy coming out there. That road crossing going up the hill, how does that ride? Because it feels almost like a bit of a false step up. Do you notice it? Um, not massively. I think it's just part of that long bit of a pull up. Um, certainly as a rider you don't. Interestingly, the horses seem to I think, might notice it more than the riders are. Hello. Doing a good job there. You, feel, you can almost feel like he just felt the horse was getting a little bit green on him. Yeah, and I think that comes back to probably why he decided to go long at the last combination. I think the horse it is, he's just taking it all in and possibly being a little bit more green than Paolo's used to. Um, but again, he did a good job of then educating the horse and taking him back round and showing him the question. We'll roll in, Ballycoop, Breaker Boy coming in the other direction. It's a little way off the corner, but actually the brush there is quite forgiving. Yeah, really forgiving. And again, he's rewarding him with a really nice pat there. Um, this horse seems to be absolutely loving his job and, and really enjoying his round. 